All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's C.T. Crapstastic here, and I want to say, as always, thank you for taking time out of your day to join me for mine. I know you got lots of channels that you can go check out, and I know, like me, you probably do. But the time that you spend here on this channel means something to me, and so thank you. If you're new here, uh, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And frankly, if you have been here several times and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that. But more importantly than even that is I ask each and every one of you, if you enjoy the content that I provide, give me a thumbs up. That helps the algorithm so much. It helps me personally. My personal goal is uh, I'd like to be at a thousand subscribers by March 1st. That's my birthday. It's about the time that I started the, the channel. And so I'd really love to have a thousand subscribers. It's only 300 more subscribers. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd share this with somebody that you think that might enjoy it, uh, I, I'd be eternally thankful. So there we go. Today we've got a new subscriber suggested strategy. And this one comes from Chris Hopkins, who says this. I think I have a pretty good system to try. I've rolled this out myself a few times and I've made about $500, which is my win stop. I haven't lost once yet. Wow. Chris, uh, I don't know any strategy where you, you don't lose eventually. So luck has been on your side, obviously. And I think that's fantastic. We're going to go ahead and roll it out here and see how it comes out. He says this, is a $2,000 buy-in. I got a $2,000 uh, bankroll right here. He says you place $12 on the 6 and the 8, and Martin Gale, if it loses, so basically it's 12, 24, 48, 96, 192, uh, etc. And then you lay $50 on the 10, and Martin Gale, that, when it loses. 50, 10, 100, or 300, then 900. So his Martin Gale on the losses are triple, uh, but basically he's tripling it up because you only get paid one to two. He says if the $900 lane loses, you're out. You think? <laughs> for most of the people who watch this channel, and specifically for me, particularly, uh, if I were to lose $900, I, just, I wouldn't lose $900 because I wouldn't play it. But let's play this out and see what goes on. He says uh, once a 6 and 8 hit, you return back to the 12. If you're at a, tw a table and you need the stopping point, Pull all the way off a number after it hits. All right, well, we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and roll this out and see where it goes. Listen, folks, I'm not a uh, huge participant in the Martingale, and, and let me clarify that. I don't play Martingale, but we're going to go ahead and see if I can do it. Uh, my biggest challenge, I did one, one round of practice for myself. My biggest challenge is to remember to do the Martingale, so hopefully I will do that both for the 6 and the 8 and the late 10 as we go. All right, and uh, he says, P.S., by the way, the bets are always working. Okay, so in order to get that started, let's go ahead and do it. We've got $12 on the 6, $12 on the 8, and we've got a $50 late 10. All right, so here we go. We're going to see if we can't roll this out and make some money. And look, if we're playing 6 and 8, he doesn't tell us that we should press or anything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and bank it. At $14 a pop, you're going to see some uh, significant... Um, you got, you got, it's a small step to climb, right? However, I think it's the Martin Gale that he's playing on. So if you lose here. If you roll a 7 and win here, you martingale these. If you uh, establish or get a point, or, or no, I'm sorry, if you land on the 10 and you lose the 10, then you're going to martingale that. Okay? It, it's got it's got merit. Let's see if we can play it out. Here's our come out roll. And the point is going to be 5. There we go. These are always working. Dice out. And there's boxcars, midnight. Dice out. And there's the seven out. Okay. So with seven out, we're going to lose these two, but we're going to martingale them up. There we go. So 
put that there. And we're going to make 25 on that, uh, on that 7. For $1. Oh, jeez, I just paid it out on my own. Sorry, guys. There we go. For a $1 VIG. There it is. Okay. And now we're going to martingale this up to $24 each. So, there's 20 on the 6, 20 on the 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, guys, I think I followed this properly. That's our martingale, and we're looking for a new point. Here we go. Everything's working. There's a nine. That's our new point. Dice out. And there is the seven out. If you lose that forty-eight dollars. We're gonna make twenty-five. For one, there it is. All right. Now with the forty-eight dollars each, let's go ahead and I use one of these and get some reds. Let's do this. Let's do it this way 25, 35, 45, and 3 makes 48. 25, 45, 3 makes 48. All right, and here we go, guys. We're looking for a point. Martingale makes me nervous, guys. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not accustomed to losing uh, full trays in uh, one or two swipes. So even though it's the smaller denominations, I realize that's why we got a $2,000 bankroll. A little uncomfortable, just letting you know. Here we go. Let's get a point. And the point's going to be nine. go. Dice up. And seven out. <laughs> you guys know this is why Martin Gale is frowned upon by uh, most serious players. You know that, right? Because Oops. You're going to lose your money. You just are. 25. I don't know. I got to get change. For one. I'm feeling the sting, guys. I am feeling the sting. All right, let's see where I'm at here. That was a $48. dollar oh, 96 $96. Dollars. True, true, true. All right. There's 75 there. 75 here. I'm going to have to get a calculator out to do the math on this because I honestly don't normally get these bets up that high. Uh, 75 85 95 and 95 and 6. Okay. Shoot. What is 96105? I think it is. Let's uh let's just get our calculator out to make sure. Uh 90 it's 96, right? So 96 divided by 
6 equals 16 times 7 equals 112. 112 is what we're going to make on those. Phew. We need a few hits, guys. We need a few hits. So can you tell I'm a little nervous about this whole thing? All right, here we go. I'm nervous on your behalf. I don't play these big numbers. I would never bring a $2,000 bankroll. Chris, nothing against you. It's just that's making me nervous. But if, like you, you can't lose, <laughs> then you're fantastic, man. I mean, let's go. Let's go. Let's see if we can make a couple $112 hits on this. What do you say? Here we go. There's out. Looking for a point. Point's going to be five. I'd feel a lot better if we got two or three hits under our belt. I'll be honest with you. There we go. That's out. There's 10. Going to lose that 50. I mean, we were just minding our own business, right? That 50 now is martingale to 100. Holy. Our lay 10 is 100. We've got... 96, 96, we had almost $300 on the table. Chris, what are you doing to me here, brother? Here we go. And seven out. Oh, I don't even know what to do there. All right, we're going to lose all this money. Okay. I'm dying, Chris. I'm dying. We're going to make 50 bucks here. Oh, my gosh. 50. And we're going to pay $2 in VIG for that. And the good news is we're going to take that 100 back down and start back over there at that. Uh, bad news is we got to put 100 and $92 on the 6 and the 8. $192 on the 6 and the 8. All right, there's 175 on the 75. 85, 90. 85.90. Need some change. Let's get 10 because I just, I just know I'm going to need it. 5. There we go. Whew, we am I nervous about all this. What is this? 190. Two dollars each. There's two. There's two. One ninety-two. One ninety-two. Fifty. Golly. Well, let me do a little math here, guys, because uh, my head doesn't work that well this late at night. Uh, let's go. One ninety-two divided by six equals. 32 times 7. Well, we're going to win 224 if we ever hit it. <laughs> oh, man. My, but look, look at my bankroll, man. Come on, Martin Gale. Come on. Let me check the time. Oh, I'm sweating bullets here, Chris. We're not even past 15 minutes. And I'm broke. Here we go. Come on, Martin Gale. I'm going to get 224 on this if we hit. Everything is on. Looking for a point. The point is going to be hard for. All right. Phew. Anybody else get nervous? Do you guys get nervous about stuff like this? I mean, it's just let's take an assessment of where we're at. The seven is the most rolled number. Or at least the, the probability is highest for the seven. 
If we get a seven, we're going to get $24. And we're going to lose almost $400. Chris, here we go. Dice out. There's a six. There's a six. All right, guys, we got a six. That's going to be 224. All right, all right. I can't wait to pay myself. Here we go. 200. And you know what? I'm going to go 225 for one. 225 for one. There it is. All right, now hold everything because I got to figure out. I think we bring this back down to 12, but I'm not sure. I think that's true. But let's make sure. Let's go back to the notes. Says uh, once the six and eight hit, you return back to twelve dollars. You say once the six and eight hit, but I think you mean the six or eight. I'm gonna go back to twelve. I will feel much better about that. Thank you very much. As we rebuild our bankroll, there we go. <sighs> Just makes me nervous, guys. I mean, it makes me nervous. And I don't think I'm the only one. All right. I can tell you this right now. We are still way behind. So, let's see if we can get back to where we need to be. I feel a lot better about $24 on the table than having almost $400 on the 6 and the 8. Okay, here we go. Nice up. And there is an eight. Would have been nice. We had that, uh, you know, still stacked up. Oops, that's a six and eight. I just, a six and a two, and I rolled that. But there we go. So that's going to be a $14 winner. At this point, you think, well, 14 bucks. Woo! But after losing all that and putting all that stuff out there and hitting seven over and over and over again, makes me nervous. So I think that's what we're going to do here. All right, guys. Here we go. Um, that hit, that's good. And there's a five. Okay. And there's a six. The $14. Let's take it here. 14. Rebuilding. Here we go. There's a five. There's an eight, another $14. Let's go 15 for one. There it is. We can do that all day long, and I wouldn't mind if we did. There's the seven out right there, guys. All right. Okay, there's our 12s. I'm going to have to replace that with 24s, but not before we make a quarter. Oh, jeez, I'm paying myself out of my own bankroll. I wonder if I've done that multiple times in this game. I don't think so, but I've certainly tried twice. There we go. Okay, now we're at 24. 20, 20. Four, four, looking for a point, there we go, and there's a four, we're back on that four, oh gee, I just rolled that, it was a three, one, four, sorry guys, three, one, four was what I had rolled originally, that's our point, here we go. Dice out, and we're back off that point. Really doesn't matter much because we're only playing the six and the eight. And there's the seven. We are going to lose 24 each. Total of 48. And now we're going to go to 48. Let's 
see here we go 25 let's get some change I'm just gonna drop a hundred for a hundred jeez Eric what a mess all right I feel like it's getting late there's that I'm gonna drop two three look at that and this one makes a hundred. Sorry, guys. What a mess. All right. That goes there. And I'm going to go ahead and drop 20. And we're going to get a full stack of chips here. Let's see what we got there. There it is. All right. Okay, guys. 48. That's 25, 35, 45, and 45. And 3 makes 8. 3 makes 8. Okay. Shoo we here we go. Five is the point. This will be my last hand, if you will. Um, just for the sake of time, we're running at uh, just a little uh, under 22 minutes right now, and I want to make sure that I'm respectful of your time as well. So this will be our last hand. And, uh, boy, it better pay off in big spades. Otherwise, I don't see how we're going to uh, make back our $2,000. All right, here we go. And there's a four. Easy. And there's the seven. We are not going to make our money back on that. These little boys will go home. That this oops tend to grab that quarter there. That's gonna pay us a quarter for one. Take it all down and let's count it up, guys. Phew, I'd love to say that I'm excited, but uh, Chris, I'm glad you don't lose anything because I think I lost my shirt, maybe even my my britches. Let's see, there's one. Two, three, four, five hundred. One, two, three, four, five hundred. That's a thousand. One, two, three, four. That is fourteen hundred. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and change. Oh, sorry, four. Let's go ahead and change that in for a hundred. Fifteen hundred. Three, four, uh, 16, 1750, 1750, two, three, four, five. There's 25 and 20, so there's 75, 20, five is another quarter. There's our hundred one two three four five okay guys here we go five one thousand fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen hundred eighteen hundred and ten eleven eighteen eleven you know what happened in the year eighteen eleven I lost my shirt. That's what happened in 1811. <laughs> All right. Hey, whether we win or we lose, we had a little fun playing it. This is uh, Chris Hopkins' strategy. And, Chris, I want to thank you for submitting it to us. I'm glad you have better results than I did there. I don't know what I did wrong. I may have not played the Martingale properly. I, I, I think I did, but I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, we're, we're down a couple hundred bucks. 
I'm not going to complain about it because that does us no good. I am going to invite you to hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and please give me a like if you would, please. And uh, if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to get to 1,000 before the end of February. So it gives me about two months to gain about 300 subscribers. So not only am I asking you to subscribe, but I'm asking you to share the channel with somebody else. That would be a huge help to me. If you've got a strategy, drop it in the com comments section below, and I'll play it as well. This is CT Craftastic saying thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.